Philippe Vogelenzang. I'm from Zandvoort originally, but I live in Amsterdam. Hi, I'm Melissa Wete. I come from Russia and I'm an immigrant to Germany. I'm Sarah Jacobs. I was born in the south of the Netherlands. I was born in a really, really boring village, so um, I started to make art, I guess. To show a strong male uh, statement in a huge female exhibition, I thought could be very interesting. There was a guy named Hugo, a French guy, who uh, I, I wanted to shoot since two years. With Hugo, I sort of honor Newton and um, in my own way. And I try to create something timeless and memorable. Uh, initially, the series was commissioned by a German rock band called Cadaver. For me, it was about um, two groupie girls, two penny lanes, uh, who are following their music idols um, through the city, through Berlin, and living out their ecstasies, their desires to the fullest, and how they photograph themselves how they run to the plane trying to catch their idols. I wanted to give it more estrangement. I tried a lot with poses and uh, the environment and like Miriam from Vome really, uh, she described it really well. She said, you're losing the border uh, between earth and uh, heaven. So that's, yeah, that's the thing with becoming one in one picture. I, I always say that you, you cannot decide what kind of photographer you're gonna be. You really have to find out what kind of photographer you are. When I started, I had this picture in my mind. I wanna do fashion and um, yeah, I just thought about being cool and everything. But along the way, I really um, I learned so much about myself and I really learned uh, about what, what, what I'm actually good at uh, as a photographer. You, have, you just have to stay close to what you really feel strong about. I also had moments that I, I shot something and I, and I was like, hey, is this me? Um, but it's, it's very good to learn from those experiences um, so you can, um, you can grow as a, as a photographer and uh, as a professional. I never try to maintain maintain my style consciously. I just I just see uh, different requests or different clients or new things as opportunities to find a new interesting solution. I'm absolutely willing to let go of some things and to accept new things and to adapt them to my style. I started being very artificial and very controlled and during the last years I just let go and my photography changed too. When I do stuff for myself then it's for me it's not really hard to maintain my own style because I think it's my own taste so so then then it's not hard but when I do commercial things um, sometimes it's hard to maintain your style because other people and clients have concepts and ideas and um, yeah I try to discuss as much as possible and communicate and sometimes I push the client a little bit more to, to go further and um, yeah so I, I, for me it's really for me it's really important it's your signature The thing that inspires me about Newton is, is most of all his, his world, I think. In his, in his pictures you really feel his um, huge dedication to his profession and his, his passion for photography and his vision, everything, everything seems to come, to come together in his work. The, the way he cooperated with his muses um, the way he played with them, it, it brought out very strange, twisted, sometimes dark and sometimes funny, but always unexpected sides out of them. I still feel that the way how he showed women it, are ways that are still, for some people, just too strong or too twisted or too 
threatening. He, he is one of the only few that uh, could combine nudity with woman and in a very luxurious way. So that's really, really good. I really like his eye, his vision, um, his colors, uh, his film. I'm, I really adore him. <laughs> I was really honored. I mean, exhibiting um, in foam is one thing, but exhibiting uh, next to Newton is insane. So I feel I felt super honored, and it's really special to me. Foam exhibits um, people and artists that I admire greatly, and being here right now it fills me with a um, very strange feeling of triumph and honor and a little bit of pride for myself and what I have achieved. <laughs> well, a huge honor. One of the biggest heroes um, for me and I think for every young photographer out there. So to be in a show with him is like a dream. Um, and of course I, I know foam since I live in Amsterdam and I, I, I love foam museums so I always had this goal. So this is abs absolutely uh, a milestone for me.